Hello, everybody! This is Fox Denson, and we're playing another game! This one's called Shovel Knight, and this is also the first uh, video, and probably not the entire series is gonna be like this, but the first serio er, the series of Gaming in Pain. As I said in my vlog, I suffer from really bad pain because somebody fractured my spine when they were texting and driving. And it's partly to raise awareness of people who deal with stuff like me and broken backs and injuries and all that. I don't actually have feeling in my right leg here. And, uh, and the only reason I'm not in a wheelchair is because it's kind of a miracle, even though I deal with extreme pain. If anyone's having a migraine, it's kind of like that, except focused on my back and it radiates to my entire body. So, uh, again, hopefully the entire series won't be that way for this, but... Hey, uh, you'll see how it affects some things, maybe. At least my commentary and my reactions here. Well, so let's get started. Dang, there's a lot of profiles in there. We need a good name for this. We need... Uh, okay. Uh... Uh, let's go for, uh... There we go, Spadingus. That works, I guess. Normally, I... I played this game for a little bit on the PC before, but uh, this is on the Wii U. I actually have an Amiibo. I'm not doing that right now. My uh, friend might play a co-op later with him with this, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. Oh. His spirit broke, and a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. And I have a sneeze building up, so excuse me if I sneeze. But without champions, the land, the land was seized by a vile power, and the Enchantress and her order of no quarter. Uh, I screwed that up. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Alrighty. And as you can see, I'm using the Wii U Pro Controller. And not of the marijuana variety. I actually hope they make more. The company who made this game makes more games because like the little I played, it's a very good game. And it kind of proves that you can still go old school and make a good game. Before people try to go and say I'm just doing it because like somebody else is doing it right now, I'm actually doing it because I've had a few friends say I should do it, so... I was gonna record it a while back, I just never got around to it. I like the whole Scrooge McDuck thing going on here. That's definitely a good throwback to a good NES game. And I might, my voice might sound a little lower than normal, but, or at least if you've been watching my other videos, and that's only because I'm trying to figure out my audio. If I knew how to edit, edit, uh, excuse me, I'm going to screw up words and stuff because it's, again, gaming in pain. Bubble Dragon! 
Since you didn't turn me in the fruit. But if you don't get that reference, you're a sad being, and you should. Boop. Go! McDuck, yeah. See, part of what I like in this game is uh. not the burps. That is something else. Because I made a wonderful dinner. It was a clam. Ah, slimes! Not a well, not clam and slime. That'd be terrible. Um, little neck clams in shrimp, uh, baked in a lovely sauce. Of lemon, garlic, onion, red pepper, and uh, tomatoes. They're baked and steamed that way. It turned out excellent. I actually added some lemon and pepper into it too, so. And served over a uh, pasta. You will probably notice my dogs going in and out of the background, and kitties hopping in my lap. That's why I actually have the webcam on, because apparently a lot of people, the people who are actually watching me, actually like the fact that you can see my cats and dogs in the background here. So hey! Works for me! You guys want to see my puppies? I am more than willing to accommodate. Or chicken. Either regardless. Or maybe it's more like a chocobo with the size of that frickin' meat there, man. <laughs> checkpoint! I know there's an achievement for like getting through this with a no checkpoint run, but I'm not doing that right now. I'm tr I'm gonna try to do that on the PC at my own time. That's not what this playthrough is for. Although I could do another playthrough trying to go for a checkpoint free run. If people want to see it. We're totally going all frickin' ducktails on this stuff here. Yeah, on the PC I didn't get too far. I think I beat, uh... King Knight or Royal Knight or something like that. That was about it. Give me all gems, Wyvern! Ah, skeleton! Well, I did not actually expect that, but I will take it. More money! And a carrot! And a treasure! I am winning all the things right now! Somebody might be upset because I'm beating all the skeletons! And nobody wants you to beat all the skeletons! Yay, I still got it. Boing, boing. Boing! Gems. No, I lost the emerald thingy thing. Boing, 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 boing. Don't drop down the hole, you ass. I wanted that. I wanted that red gem. That was a pit. That was not the red gem. Mind you, the red gem did go down the hole, but that is not how I recover it. 
sad thing is, if I wasn't in pain, I probably would have not died there. <laughs> but hey, you gotta deal with what you can deal with. It is remarkably hard to actually focus when the uh, chronic pain is going off. Because if anybody is ever, anybody watching this has ever had a migraine, you will know exactly the problems that it can cause. Apple. Well, bye. Oh, I am, hum I am, I am humiliated. I. I died. I shouldn't have. But hey. If everything worked out perfectly for a gamer that deals with uh, chronic pain and disabilities, there'd be no need to make this video. And I know there'll be people out there who say it could be a lot worse, and it's true, it could be worse. But uh, that's not really the point of it all. Just because it can be worse doesn't mean you can't actually uh, suffer through the problems that you're having. If you're always thinking you shouldn't uh, complain because it could be worse, then there's always just going to be people who are going to end up suffering because of that type of attitude, and you don't want it. People like me who have to deal with chronic pain, we have a pain in the butt about all this just because of how hard it is to get a doctor, how hard it is to see anybody, and, uh... It is Black Knight! I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the cerulean coward! Turn back, Shovel Knight, there's nothing here for you anymore! Mm. Stand aside, Black Knight! I have no quarrel with you! I must return to the Tower of Fate! Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress, and her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me! Even though I steal thy shovel. <laughs> I like how he just pokes you and runs away. Boing. 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 Ah! A shovel up the ass would definitely not be a very pleasant experience. I Scrooge McD- Holy shit, did I take his head off? That's a rather dark ending to that. I'm sorry, uh, Black Knight. Oh, nope, never mind, there we go. Dude. Smokey the Bear is going to be very cross with you. Now I'll be amused if like a Smokey the Bear type thing is like a, a hidden boss in this game because you're just sleeping with the fire going. Catch her. My Jesus Christ. Is Shovel Knight a hobbit? Ah, wake up. Why are you vibrating? There we go. Only you can prevent forest fires. I'm guessing that's what the achievement's supposed to be. Woo! <coughs> 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 uh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that, sorry. Okay, well, the timer is actually saying <sighs> we're out of time right now, so it's this perfect timing. Um, I'm going to be continuing on 
Uh, next couple episodes may will probably be the campaign thing. So don't mind me, but uh, thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense that everybody always says for begging and all that. And I'll be seeing everybody later. See y'all later. Bye-bye.